Welcome back to Queenie Connection. Thanks for joining us. As the coldest night of the year fundraiser is coming up at the end of the month here in Belleville, the Director of Operations for Grayson Shelter just around the corner of us here in downtown Belleville and the Shiloh House is Ashley Vader. So Ashley, so great to have you on the show again. This is a really important fundraiser. Thank you so much for having me. This is our third year doing it. Um, so we are pretty set on getting a really awesome event out to everyone. Yeah, so Coles Night of the Year fundraiser happening February 24th, but more importantly, a huge fundraising and campaign piece for Grayson Shelter and the Shiloh House. So before we get started, Ashley, talk to us a bit more about the impact the Grayson Shelter has made, because we've certainly seen a lot of support the last couple of years. Yeah, so the shelter opened in 2019, and since we've opened, we have seen around 645 individuals come through our doors. Um, to give some perspective, that is um, double the amount of folks who are counted in Belleville area. So we're seeing a lot of transient folks, folks come into um, the area who are from the Belleville area, just returning to their supports. We've seen a lot of folks use the shelter one time and then get housed immediately. And this year alone, since January 1st, we've seen 60 individuals use the shelter. So that's just a little bit of the impact on um, on our homeless population that we're seeing in, in terms of numbers. Yeah, and relatively, it's a small shelter, right? I mean, it's a former Irish hall here uh, just up the road from us here in Belleville. What has the community response been like and kind of the impact overall? Because we've certainly seen lots of larger businesses make a, a bunch of donations, especially in the last couple months or so. Absolutely. So we have seen a tremendous community involvement with the shelter. Um, lots of big companies like Belcon and Mackey Insurance, they're really invested in this, this population. Um, you know, when we see it on the street, it, it can be really easy to ignore um, because it's not really pretty. The work we do is not pretty, but the work we do is essential to our community and especially to a growing community. Um, so our shelter is quite small. It's only 21 beds. We see five female beds and, and 16 male identifying beds. Um, but in that time, we're able to build relationship with all of the folks that come through our door. The piece of the shelter is not just to provide a bed. It's to provide dignity and love and what we have coined radical kindness. The fact that we can really engage with folks and learn their story. Um, it's something that is quite, well, we believe it's quite unique to our shelter. Um, and that I think is what pulls and draws the community members in is that they see the and not only the impact in our numbers, but the impact in the relationship that we're building with each individual person who comes through our door. So the Coles Night of the Year fundraiser happening February 24th. For those in the community that want to be a part of this, how does it work? Do they just show up at the shelter on that night? So you can go to cnoy.org. You can sign up a team and be a team lead. You can join a team. There are 30 teams in, um, in our system right now, 130 walkers. You can donate to any team. Um, if I can, I'd love to highlight a couple teams. One team in particular is called John 14. It is um, a team that is put on by one of our former guests, nieces. So a former guest just recently passed away and he was, you know, a, a, a presence in our community. We all really loved him. And so she started a team and it's called John 14. And she has really been just doing this work to get to, you know, raise money for CNOY, but also she saw the impact it had on her uncle. So I just wanted to highlight her team. Also, lots of teams that, that could use some fundraising, Grayson staff team, maybe. Um, but you could do that. You can volunteer. You can... Uh, we really, really want to promote bringing your family in as a team. We've got some kid activities, so there's face painting, coloring. We're thinking that if it snows that night or the day before, that we want to do some snow painting. Um, and otherwise, you can really just really, um, you know, look at the website and see what there is. But donate to the shelter. Um, donate to a team, just try to get involved as best as possible. We really think that this is a great team building activity as well. So quite a bit of businesses have put together teams. So I know Starbucks has a team, the Starboard Polar Bears or Polar Cares, uh, they have a team. 
Um, it's just a really fun day. For folks who can't make it in person, Ashley, they can still register and donate kind of all year round? Not all year round to CNOI, but uh, all year round to the shelter. So outside of, of coldest night of the year, we do have a sponsor a bed program that if you are wanting to give on a consistent basis or a lump sum, there's that type of program. We also collect clothes because we do a lot of um, clothing people and hygiene products um, and food as well. Not only does it go towards feeding our guests in the morning at and at night, but any of our guests who have full-time jobs, we want to make sure that while they're at work, they're also fed. So we do lunch, you know, bagged lunches for the day. What other programs are offered with guests through the Grayson Shelter these days? Thank you for asking. So, well, we have the shelter um, and it seems like it's just a bed. We have a couple programs like our systems navigation program. So each guest is connected to our systems navigator to support in essentially what it is, navigating the system, um, looking for apartments, getting ID, medical referrals, substance use referrals, mental health, things like that. It's really important work that's done within the shelter. And then our other large program outside of that is our Shiloh House. So it's our male transitional house. It houses six individuals and it's a year program. It's a participatory program where they come in and um, the, the idea is to prepare um, in consistent, permanent, sustainable housing. So sometimes when you become homeless, and if you're homeless for a significant amount of time, you may forget how to be housed. So there are um, times where you might need to learn how to be a good roommate again. Remember how to take out the garbage and recycling, ensure that you're doing your dishes. So these are things that the guys um, have full support of while they're in the house from our staff, as it's staffed 24 hours a day. And on top of having it staffed 24 hours a day, there is a case manager that walks alongside our residents to find employment, education and training, which are all requirements of the program, and then to look for long-term sustainable housing. Um, that really starts a few months into their time at the, the house, but it's been really successful. And we found a lot of um, positive outcomes from this type of program. How long has the Shallow House been up and running, Ashley? It will have been two years, March 1st. So oh, yeah. it's really exciting. It's still very new. I mean, the shelter in general is very new. We're only into our fifth year. Um, and we have so many programs five years in. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Once again, Ashley Beta, the Director of Operations with Grayson Shelter and the Shiloh House. Thanks so much and good luck on the coldest night of the year coming up on February 24th. Thank you so much.